former Philadelphia mob boss Joey Morlino is out of federal prison. Morlino has been behind bars since 1999 for a racketeering conviction, and now he will serve out the rest of his 14-year sentence in a halfway house in Florida. Joining us now is Philadelphia Inquirer reporter George Anastasia. He has covered the mob for more than a decade. George, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Don. Good to be here. Tell us what you know about Merlino's release and what his life will be like now. Well, he, he left Terre Haute, Indiana, a federal prison yesterday. He re reported to a halfway house in West Palm Beach, Florida today. And he'll be there for six months. And he's got to find a job. And he'll report back to the halfway house at night and on weekends. But he can leave in, in the morning to go to work. That's kind of the situation. It's an attempt to kind of ease yourself back into ordinary life. Well, do you think Merlino will be able to stay away from the mob? You know, he loved the spotlight. He was loyal to the mob and his former associates. Well, I, I think part of the reason he opted to go to Florida, and I think he chose to go to Florida, was to try to get out of that orbit. If he had come back to Philadelphia in a halfway house, I think it would have been very difficult for him not to do what he does, Joey being Joey. He's a very charismatic guy, and he's got a lot of people around him. I, his lawyer said to me today, he's put a 1,500-mile disconnect between himself and that other life, and that's, you know, that's what he's doing. But, I mean, Joey has been such amazing copy over the years that even now, if you think about it, Federal prisoners are always going into halfway houses. There's nothing really dramatic or new about that. But, but because it's Joey, it's become news. I got a story on Philly.com today. I've got a video mob scene up on, online, and I got a story in tomorrow's paper. It's about a guy coming out of prison going to a halfway house. Happens every day, but it's Joey, so it's news. And because it's Joey, what do you think will be his greatest challenge? Well, I mean, I think... The question is, does Joey want to start a new life or does Joey want to go back to being Joey the celebrity gangster? For many, many years, Joey Merlino was the face of organized crime in Philadelphia. And I think it's going to be difficult for him to stay away from that. I think he likes the limelight. He likes the attention. It wouldn't surprise me if eventually he decides not to stay in Florida and comes back to Philadelphia. And, and when was the last time you talked to him, and are, are you hoping to sit down with him again? I'd like to sit down with him again and see what his, you know, his attitude and approach is. Last time I talked to him was when he was on trial in Newark, New Jersey, in a federal murder case. He was found not guilty in that case. That came after his conviction in, in, in 01 on the racketeering case for which he was sentenced to prison. But he called me a couple of times from prison while he was up in North Jersey. That's the last time I actually talked to him. And what about his wife and family? Will they be going to Florida? Dawn, there's different reports about that. One individual told me that Deborah Merlino and the two girls, and I think they're 12 and 14 now, are going to relocate and move to Florida. Another said, no, Deborah doesn't want to disrupt their life, doesn't want to take them out of their schools. They'll visit, but they're not going to move. So I think it's one of those things we don't really know yet. Have to see how that plays out. And do we know what his job will be or what exactly he'll be doing no, at the halfway house? My understanding is he's trying to get a job in the food industry, maybe the restaurant business. I mean, you can get any kind of job. It doesn't matter. As long as it's a legitimate job and you, you leave the halfway house in the morning and you go back at night. Someone told me he wants to stay in Florida eventually and open a restaurant, so we'd like to get involved in the food industry. He's a very personable guy. I, I don't think he's a chef, but I could see him running a restaurant. All right. Well, George Anastasia, thanks so much. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Anytime. And you can read more about George's coverage of the local mob in a new South Jersey magazine called Jersey Man. Viewers can also check it out at philly.com.